A cold front that's continuing to pass by our region. We are expecting for this weekend some clouds to eventually move in. We're also talking about for Election Day, still looking at some showers that will be pretty similar to today, but for the most part, things could be a little on the damper side coming Tuesday. Rainfall so far for the last 24 hours. It's pretty clear where it has rained and where it has not. This is where the front system is right now, and it's continuing to push off to the east, so we can expect to see this rain map filled out a little bit more over the coming hours. Temperatures around the region too. This also marks where that frontal system is down through Campbellsville, down through Burksville. It will start getting a little bit cooler, especially as this continues to push off to the east. That rain is still overhead, but as I mentioned, thankfully it is staying below severe limits. We just have a general showers pushing through the area, even regionally though you can see. But here's the back side of it over here. Now the thing is, is it's taking its sweet time. It's not moving overly fast, so Keep that in mind tonight as you're heading out. You may still have a more wet pattern, especially heading out with those trick or treaters. Taking a look at future max for tonight, the system continues to push off to the east. It will start to make its way outside of the region by about seven or eight o'clock. So about when trick or treat is starting to wrap up for Friday morning, we start off with some cloud cover and we'll see the sunshine try to make an appearance, but I think it will be partly sunny for much of the day. Saturday morning, starting things out. Again, a little more cloud cover throughout the day. We'll continue to see some sun and some cloud cover throughout much of Saturday, but Sunday's where we really start to see those clouds on the increase, especially by Sunday morning. Future rainfall for the next five or so days, we continue to see chances for rain that does extend into portions of election day, so we still have a pretty good chance for some moisture for at least through the weekend and then even into the first half of next week. For tonight, we're looking at temperatures right around the middle 50s. Those passing showers are expected. We'll take a look at the next seven days. Don't forget this weekend, we do set our clocks back one hour, so we do get an extra hour of sleep, and those temperatures will be behaving for us into the middle to upper 70s. We do turn to cloudy by Monday, then the showers for Tuesday, which is Election Day officially. We keep seeing those scattered shower chances that push in for Wednesday. We'll see a little bit of a cool down back down into to about the lower 70s, but with all these rain chances and all these important activities coming up, make sure you're staying up to date with the latest weather forecast by downloading the WBKO First Alert Weather app, a free download in your mobile app store.